YTPC, good morning, Lone Disciple 805. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Monday morning. And I wanted to make this second part of the video that I uploaded. I realized that I haven't done this video and it's been about a month and a half or so. I've been very busy at work. Um, as you know, it's the end of the school year, so um, everyone's busy with finals and teachers are busy with grading and, and all that. I got to do confirmation still um, and I have a lot of paperwork um, to, to do. A lot of certificates to print out and meetings and um, final, final prep work and stuff like that. Anyways, Rob. I'm smoking my Stanwell with my the tobacco that I'm smoking. This is the Orlick Stark Strong Kentucky. Drinking my coffee on this Elsa mug. Anyways, I wanted to finish my my um, my video. Um, I was gonna cut into two parts. Um, basically, I was talking about um, going back to the moments when I started smoking a pipe and um, uh, what I did while I, I used to smoke a pipe and I, I back in college when I started smoking pipe tobacco and what I did I was I used to read a lot and I was showing some of the books that I read because I was smoking not too long ago I was smoking this new blend and it reminded me of a blend that I used to smoke back then so I, I, I thought I would just um, share some of the books that I read back years ago when I was in college so this is kind of the second part for that of that video and um, <clears throat> and again this is in no particular order um, obviously who has not read or heard of Dracula and um, I read this about two times during um, October I usually like to get into that festivity you know Halloween or, or read it like a Christmas story or something like that um, this time I read this in October. This is not the original copy. It's a copy I picked up years ago, Barnes and Nobles. But that's it's a great story. I really enjoyed it. The Metamorphosis by Kafka. The Divine Comedy. Sam Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn, one of my favorite novels. Um, I really enjoyed Tom Sawyer, but it was pretty, pretty funny and great novel that criticized the what was happening during that time, society and um, the political system and all that stuff. Edgar Allan Poe, his novels or his stories not novels but his stories and also uh, some of his poems um, I love Edgar Allan Poe to the point that I actually named two of my guitars after some of his work so one of my guitar is after the novel Annabelle Lee that's my the name of my Martin 1971 D28 Annabelle Lee the other one comes from the story, um, The Fall of the House of Usher, Madeline Usher, that's the name of my other guitar. It was a guitar that my mom bought, like, on a second-hand store, and, and I didn't even look at it, and, and it sat there for many years, and um, uh, not too long ago, I, I went back and I picked it up, it was in the garage. And I'm like, wow, this actually sounds pretty nice. And I really checked it out, and and I really, I noticed that it, it, it's a solid top. And Brazilian rosewood back and sides. I feel it's laminated. I, it feels laminated, but I don't know. But it, it, it definitely, it is Brazilian wood. So I'm like, w w why didn't I even check it the first time my mom brought it in? Um, 
sounds great. Um, it was not humidified, so I had to like humidify. I had to bring it back to life, to kind of like fix the action, the bridge, and um, kind of like play a little bit with the truss rod um, and put new strings. And it's been I've been playing it a lot, and I, again I had to humidify it for about two three weeks, um, and it came back to life. So if you read the story of Edgar Allan Poe's with um, Madeline Usher, you know it's it's a story that this person got buried alive or she was there's different interpretations obviously she was she a ghost was she you know um, a lie buried and and was trying to was trying to get out or was she really dead came back to life we don't know right it's open to interpretation but I named her Madeline because of that same reason that I just felt this guitar was basically her grave and I brought it back to life sounds amazing it's basically a Japanese from like 1970s um, it's over 40 years and um, it, it pretty I mean it, it has normal wear and tear uh, it doesn't have any dents or anything it's just a few you know normal scratches um, something that you might might expect from a 1970s guitar but there's nothing really bad with it so it's in wonderful conditions um, it's a case 77 uh, KDJ or something like that KDG 77 um, I don't know too much about this guitar other than than um, it's J it was made in Japan and um, back in the 70s and you know sounds great so yeah I normally name all my guitars and two like again two of my guitars are named after Edgar Allan Poe's stories Annabelle Lee and Madeline another one that I really enjoy that I read as, as you can see I had to like even put like um, tape package tape is Alexander Dumas the Count of Monte Cristo I remember my mom talking about this book when I was a kid and I thought it was a story about Christ because you know it says Cristo Monte Cristo so I'm like oh it's a story about Christ and she's like no 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 it's a love story you'll, you'll read it when you get older and I, I, I've read it three times two times in this book and another time I, I, I read it in Spanish it's, it's it's a novel a French novel and um, it's just a wonderful wonderful story I think Jim Caviezel did an amazing performance in that um, kind of Monte Cristo in the movie so yeah definitely one of my favorites um, now you cannot be a serious reader without reading especially in my case that I'm Catholic the confessions of St. Augustine it's a classic consider a classic also and um, um, again this is not the original book that I bought some of these books I lost them or gave them away and um, and I usually like to keep every book I read um, so decided to buy this nice collectible copy Curtis Lost by Milton and um, I read some of Plato's um, but mostly Marcus Aurelius I mean Plato I, 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 I had to read when I was in college but Marcus Aurelius uh, was a book that I um, that I picked up it was a stoic and um, I read his meditations that's what that's that's what it is his meditations um, was said that <clears throat> someone came up to him and told him how um, Marcus your daughter has died and he said well just bury her what are we waiting for you know there was no emotion because he was a stoic um, so when I was back in college I was trying to fall into that philosophy because I'm tend to be a very emotional person I'm like I need to be more of a stoic person it didn't work but it was a good read um, this is a book that I've I've read a few stories um, Lovecraft I read the lurking fear I think I read a four four five stories from this book um, and um, again I read during October Halloween and smoking my pipe and it's 
I gotta say, he's kind of complicated. It's almost like Edgar Allan Poe. They have an extended vocabulary, so I have to sit down with, with a dictionary, and so that's why I don't read him a lot. It's almost like you have to learn how to read Lovecraft, uh, if that makes any sense. You just kind of pick up a story and just read it and, and, and understand everything. It, it's You have to be able to get into his style, understand his style of writing, um, Nonetheless, once once you pass that stage um, of kind of like learning how to read it, uh, I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, what's his name? Uh, Gilman, Gayman, um, the one that wrote uh, Coraline and and uh, um, American Gods, I believe. He he talked about about Lovecraft, saying the same thing that it's almost like you have to learn how to read him. Um, great stories and I really enjoyed his stories every time I read them Cthulhu and all those <clears throat> but yeah I, I know there's more books somewhere there but uh, those these are definitely the books that I remember uh, mostly reading while pipe smoking um, this is not a book that I read in college this is a book that I read about three years ago um, it's La Sombra del Viento, which is in English, The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafón. This is an incredible novel. Um, if you can read it, um, looking for a novel that has romance, um, gothic, that has a vengeance, um, passion, and, and um, just kind of like a freaky story on the side, but there's that, that mysterious aspect to it. Um, it's a story about a book and um, and and just characters coming out of the book and and it's just an amazing story um my wife read it she loved it i definitely have to read it i think i'm gonna read it in english this time um definitely it's worth your time if you're looking for just a good novel all right and as of now i'm actually reading well i'm reading i'm reading two i just finished the name of the wind um by Patrick, gosh, I don't remember his, his last name. No, it's not Patrick, is it? Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I enjoyed that. And um, I'm reading The Robe by Douglas. Lloyd Douglas um, I I try to read that during during Lent because it's a story about the robe of Christ of uh, this Roman soldier that that gets the robe of Christ the one that that in, in the gospel we hear that uh, some soldiers they were gambling under that robe and that's basically a story uh, what happened to these soldiers that won this that soldier in particular that won this robe what what his conversion and all that so great story have not finished it unfortunately like i said i've been very behind with reading with everything uh, with my my um, um ytpc youtube channel um trying to respond to uh, the giveaways and all that <clears throat> So it's the end of the year, I said. And I should get behind with my music also. And I'm also working on an album and, and that's in working process and stuff. But a book that I'm also reading right now, I just thought it has great information. Um, and I, I, I just felt like I needed to read it again or kind of I need to read it again. Is this one here, The Expectant Father. Yeah, so I'm making a lot of notes wondering why I'm reading it uh, I thought it's it's just a good read I think so <laughs> good information <clears throat> well, there you go so um, some of my books and um, checking in with you guys um, so I hope everyone's having a great Monday and a great week and um, I hope to see you guys soon God bless